It's Nick's birthday this week and we didn't make a big deal out of it, so we need to uh, give him his gift. <laughs> the sun hat. Put it on, I mean, we're about to start planting beans. This could oh, come in God. handy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Thing looks phenomenal. Oh, just great. At least you won't have a sunburnt neck again. No. Today is Thursday, May 18th, and it's about 5 o'clock. I went and scouted his fields today. It's still pretty wet yet, at least in our area it is. Out by Florence where the, we have 100 acres of corn left. That I might go out and try that in tonight or maybe right away in the morning. I haven't decided yet. But I was looking at the video we put up a day ago, I believe it was, about how row number 11, the opening disc was packed full of mud, and I didn't look at it. Kyle was doing it, and someone mentioned uh, the bearing was out on it, and I, I didn't take a look at it at all. Like I said, Kyle was doing it, but... I don't know how well that comes over in the camera, but she is very, very loose. So, you know, it needs to be replaced. I'm glad somebody mentioned that on the comments because I would not have caught it more than likely until I got done with corn tonight or tomorrow. So, thank you for whoever commented that. It's Friday now. I decided to give the field another day to try and dry up just so I can get a little further into the wet spots. I'd say it's about 10-ish acres that are still pretty wet. I probably won't be able to get into. But I came out and Titan said that the monitor would be fine for me to use it to uh, play with the 620. No, this one's out of the 540. But it's looking like I'm not able to have uh, auto steer and at this point I'm just fine with waiting another 30 minutes for them to run down and redo the software on it because I probably get done today and probably have to wait till tomorrow to get issue with my bulk fill rate not being not keeping up I went back there I dumped the manifolds and the outside row uh, that section of the manifold had a bunch of corn that started germinating in it so I got moisture in it but after I did that now everything's running the way it should pretty much glad it was that and I didn't have to take a bunch of the planter apart to try and get to whatever was causing that problem but hopefully it keeps running just as well it is right now I'll keep you guys updated
Yeah, I'm still not able to get very far back in there. It's pretty wet yet. The outside roll is that didn't, didn't like it too much. It's sunk in pretty good. But, well, that little spot I can handle. If anything, come back with a little or smaller planter and just knock that out quick once it dries up. But if that's like that, I can't wait to see what that bottom's like with the planter. Well, I guess I should have been paying closer attention because it's all mudded up now. Ah, shoot. Time to get a screwdriver. Row 23 and 24 are coming up that they're not getting enough seed, so I'm gonna go back there and probably dump the manifold again. see that but all those sprouts are from uh, it having somehow getting water into the uh, manifold and just sort of sprouting them so they kind of all stick together then the other side I didn't show you guys but uh, they were so bad that they were I had to dig them out they weren't coming out by themselves at all like this side did, but yeah, I'm glad it was just that again, because I don't want to take anything apart today. Well, I've made it to the bottom where I started on this field, and it's pretty wet. It doesn't pick it up on camera very well. I've been throwing some mud. I'm just trying to get it as much in as I can before it gets stuck. Okay. Feeling like I'm being pretty risky trying to get it all in. But I really don't want to have to switch back to corn after switching to beans and come out here and replant. So I'm probably going to go until I really get close to getting stuck. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's throwing quite a bit of mud. Well, this is the last pass of the corn for this year. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, there's uh, rows on the left and there's rows on the right. Uh, I said that backwards, but I think you guys know what I mean. So, yeah, it feels really good just to get done with corn, be done with it, and now on to soybeans. The more hectic part of the planting season. But, yeah, it feels really good to have all this done. And we haven't... Hopefully no issues when it comes to soybeans. Hopefully we can just get ready and go. No problems whatsoever. That'd be really nice to have, but I know it doesn't work like that. So yeah, we'll see what happens next. I'll probably pick the camera up once I'm back home or if I see something interesting. Driving the tractor home and tractor and planter home now. And 
and this is coming up, I don't know if you guys can see it, but engine fault, engine secondary coolant pressure low, and then engine intake air temp high. Just another thing to really throw a wrench in something. I know they thought it was a sensor, so they replaced the sensor. And now it's happening again. This is the second time it's came up. Sometimes you can just turn the key on and off and let it cycle and it'll go back to normal. But I'm thinking it's looking like we need a water pump now. But yeah, I called somebody at Titans and no one wanted to answer. But my engine temp is not going up, so I'm just going to keep going and until something else happens or if I'm told to stop. But just got back to the shop. I opened up the hood on the 620 because uh, Titans told me to take a look at the top reservoir to see how full that is. And that one's good, but this one down here is overflowing. Got a bunch of coolant leaking everywhere. Up on the hood, it's a mix of orange and yellow, orange and green coolant. Got a good puddle starting down there. Yeah, it looks like they get to come out and figure that out now. Hopefully it's nothing too bad because in the cab it wasn't saying nothing about the engine temp actually being hot, so I don't, I don't know. I'd like to throw a few things out there, but I'm not I'm not a good enough mechanic to even do that. I just have a few things in mind that I don't want it to be. But yeah, we'll probably give you an update later on that. I'm gonna end the video here actually. If you liked what we were doing today, go ahead and subscribe, like, leave us a comment, anything. Anything is greatly appreciated, but thanks for watching. Have a good one.